So as the self-storage business grows and evolves, nothing changes faster than how we market our space for lease and search for new customers. In the very first facility I was involved in, 86% of our customers came from the Yellow Pages. Last time I ran a Yellow Pages ad, I lost over $1,200 per customer that came to us through that Yellow Page ad. Hello, my name is Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage and I'm the creator of the Self Storage Quick Start Academy. And what I do is I support the small investor who wants to get in the self storage business or who wants to grow their self storage business, strategically do so in a way that creates true wealth and a fulfilling career. And yes, the industry is evolving and changing fast and nothing is moving quicker than how we connect with and tell our new customers about the space that we have for lease. You know, a few years ago, there was a big push for internet, internet marketing. That's where our customers were coming from. They quote, internet. So there was a big push to have everybody upgrade their websites. And to a large degree, everyone has. There's not many facilities, there still are some, but there's not many facilities you can't go to and look for online. And they have a great website. You can reserve a unit on the website. You can pay a bill on the website. And you can see what their facility has to offer on their website. And that's great. If you don't have that, you should have that. Then the next buzzword was SEO, search engine optimization. Now don't underestimate the value of SEO. It will make a huge difference. And having a good SEO person or company working for you and having your website show up when people are searching for it is critical, but it changes quickly. And if you thought websites were kind of mysterious, SEO is even further out there than that. So in the past few years, as the internet's become more relevant and people have upgraded their websites and they've hired an SEO company or there's website providers offering them SEO work, everything must be working, right? We're over 90%. Things must be working. I don't really have to put much thought into it. Customers seem to be finding us without much effort. Well, here's a hot tip that's going to change. If it hasn't already changed, it will change. We have a lot of self storage hitting the market. So even if you're in a smaller market or you're in a market where you don't have much new competition hitting, believe me, this industry is getting very sophisticated and people are going to know about that. And you will see, if you don't see it now, you will see new space soon come into your sub market. So what happens? All of a sudden, you have the same number of move outs, but the same number of move ins is slowing down. Why? Well, because someone's offering first month free, first two months free, whatever they're offering to get customers in. And the customers that used to come to your facility are now turning and heading to your competition. So what do you do? Well, you, if you're like most people, and you're like, I am sometimes, you scramble and you do a lot of things. You will pull this lever and that lever. You'll, you'll run an ad in the, in the, in the paper. You will uh, put a banner up outside. You will run uh, specials on your website. You will do a whole bunch of things, hoping that something works. And then when you start to get some traction somewhere, you really won't even know where it is and you won't know how to scale that up. That's how most people scramble and deal all of a sudden when they realize that they're not getting the move ins that they used to be getting. You may even go somewhere and hire an expert and give them a thousand or two thousand dollars a month. And you may even buy the aggressive marketing package and you hope that expert knows what they're doing. Now, my experience was these guys are good, but every time I would sit with them, I would be getting information like how many people have hit my landing page, how many clicks I've gotten, how many people went to the website. All the metrics were really good, but what was missing was people coming into our facility and renting units. None of the quote aggressive marketing was working, or at least 
it wasn't generating new leases. And what's real interesting is no one sat down with me and said, what would you like to accomplish from this advertising campaign? No one sat down with me and asked me, what's the value of a customer to you? What can you really spend? They told me what I had to spend. They didn't ask me, they told me. So I decided to go another route. I decided to actually learn the online business. I w I'm currently involved in training as if I was running my own online marketing company. And I wanna see what, quote, professionals who market online, what do they really do? How do they make their decisions? How do they know what platform to go to? And when they go to these platforms, what do they do? I mean, I saw what two or three of our providers were doing in the self-storage space. I wasn't that impressed. Certainly wasn't impressed with the results we were getting. So I decided to go learn on my own. And what I want to do is share with you some of what I'm learning, some of what we're employing in our self-storage business to attract new customers, and share what's working and not working. I mean, how different can self-storage really be? It's a local business. I mean, we know where our customers are. 86 to 92 percent of our customers live in a certain distance from our facilities. The difference between the 86 and 92 depends on which facility we're talking about. So we know where our customers are. I mean, how hard is it really to get them an offer? So I went to the training. I'm still involved in the training. Now, I am not an internet expert. I'm not an internet marketing expert. I don't want to be, but I want to learn enough to actually be able to market my own facilities and know when I'm talking to a professional, if they know what they're doing and what they think they can do will make a difference for my business. So I'm in the process of going through the training with someone much like I train other people in the self-storage business. I'm getting trained by people who know what they're doing in the internet marketing business. So let me share with you some of what I'm learning. So there are basically two platforms to do paid internet marketing on. Over 90% of all dollars going for internet marketing went either to Google or they went to Facebook. Now the company I work with told me don't worry about Facebook, use Google, it's much better. So we're going to start with Facebook. I still think Facebook is the absolute best platform where you get the most bang for your buck that there is. And the beauty of Facebook is you can target really deep. Now you can target a lot deeper than you need to for the self storage business, but if I wanted to, I could connect with women between the ages of 32 and 41 in my market area who drive an SUV, who have kids taking music lessons. I mean, I could drill down that deep if I needed to. Typically we don't, and you'll learn why. But let's start with the Facebook platform. Now my goal is not to make you a Facebook uh, advertising marketing specialist. My goal is to give you enough information about this platform, how to advertise, what works and what doesn't work, so that you could possibly do it yourself and experiment with it. But at the very least, when you're talking to somebody, you will know if you're talking to somebody who knows what they're talking about. So when I'm talking about online marketing in this series of episodes, I'm not talking about SEO, although SEO is important. And I'm not talking about having a great Facebook page, although having a great Facebook page is important. On your Facebook page, there's a lot you should be doing with it. But this isn't that. In fact, there's great training on that at the seminars. Usually the day before the convention starts, you'll have training on how managers should use Facebook. Those are great. Do them. What I want to learn is how to use paid advertising to drive customers into my storage facility and rent a unit. That's all I have my attention on as I go to this training and I'm going to share with you what I'm learning. So do you have a Facebook company page? If you don't, that's the first thing you ought to do. Do it this week. Get a Facebook company page and then do what people with Facebook company pages do. Come up with a Facebook company page strategy. 
Again, this is not that, but do that. Have your managers taking nice pictures, have your customers liking and becoming friends and being able to see what's posted on there. There's a whole world of what to do on a Facebook company page. But you have to have a company page in order to have a paid Facebook advertising account. So create a company page and have your manager do all the things that managers do on company page. Then the next thing to do is open an advertising account for that company. Now there's a whole lot of different type of Facebook ads. In the old days, the ads were the things that showed up on the right hand column of your screen as you were on your computer on Facebook. Now as the world has gotten more mobile oriented, yes, some of those right hand ads still show up, but mostly the advertising we're talking about is the stuff that shows up in the news feed. So as you're standing in line for your coffee, which is where I usually happen to be when I'm looking at Facebook, uh, you, you uh, scroll through the news feed. Every now and then you'll see ads there and you know they're ads because it says sponsored. One of the goals of a good Facebook ad is you got to really look to see if it's an ad at first. But you'll know it's an ad because it says sponsor. Now what I'd like for you to start doing is paying attention to those. Paying, start paying attention to those ads and see which ones you like, see which ones you don't like, see which ones grab your attention, which ones don't grab your attention. As I went to the training on Facebook advertising, the person I'm working with said, before you ever run your first ad, before you ever spend your first dollar, because you can throw a lot of money away on a Facebook advertising campaign, but before you do that, decide what is your strategy? What do you want that ad to do? Does that sound familiar? Does that sound like anyone you know? If you've worked with me at all, you know, I say the very first part of getting in the self storage business is designing your business strategy. And that's the same thing with advertising. What do you want this ad to do? So what I suggest is actually get a sheet of paper out and lay it out. What do you want an ad to do? Well, just think about the Facebook platform for a minute. You're standing there in Starbucks. I mean, the last thing you're probably thinking about is renting a storage unit, but yet if you're that Starbucks is in the market area and you're needing a self storage unit and you happen to see something as you're scrolling through hoping to see pictures of your uh, grandkids or your kids or your friends and you happen to see something that talks about a service that you need in an area that you need it in the goal of the ad is to interrupt the user's experience on Facebook it still be a good experience for the user but to stop them and have them read or watch what you're offering and then hopefully claim it. And then quickly they go back to scrolling through and looking for pictures of their grandkids. So how do you do that? Well, you don't just do it by accident. You actually create a strategy. Let's look at a very simple Facebook ad campaign strategy. So you have a Facebook ad and the Facebook ad will take you to a landing page. Now all a landing page is is a web page that has an offer on it or has a place where the traffic and that's a cool word we use in this business traffic is people on the internet who go where you tell them to so people will click something in a Facebook ad go to a page and on that page they usually have a decision to make either to claim the offer or to not claim the offer so if they claim the offer then they will either rent a unit right there if your website allows it or they will claim a coupon or a discount or something and then you've got to follow up some way usually through automated email and make sure that they come to the facility and rent a unit now if they go to that page and don't claim what you're offering then you retarget them, another really cool word in the internet marketing business. And in other words, you will know who's been to that page. You won't know their name, but you'll have their IP address or their email address. And your program that you will use will know that they came to your page, didn't claim your offer, or didn't rent a unit. So you will either retarget them with more ads or emails, hopefully driving them back to this or another landing page. And then they will again either claim the offer or not claim the offer. 
If they claim the offer, then you either rent them there or follow up and get them into the facility. If they don't, you could endlessly retarget them, but I suggest letting it go. So that's a simple Facebook advertising marketing strategy. But you gotta have that strategy to begin to market on Facebook. So a landing page is nothing more than a web page in the online marketing business. Sometimes people call them squeeze pages because what you want to do is if a customer's there, they either have two choices. They can either leave or they can claim your offer. Now, very often, advertisers in our space for some reason drive people to your website now I love my website my website's great I don't mind having people be able to go to my website to see that we're real and we're cool and we're pretty but when somebody's standing in a Starbucks line I don't want them lost in my website looking at my storage calculator I want them either renting a unit or not renting a unit claiming my offer or not claiming my offer that's the beauty of having a landing page. Now, I will show you how to create landing pages that work. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Believe me, I am not a tech. I do not code, but I can sure create a landing page in about five minutes. So when I'm designing a strategy, I usually kind of work backwards in my mind. So I know what I want. I want a customer to rent a unit. Now, from standing in Starbucks to renting a unit, there's some spaces, physical, mental, cyber, that a customer must go through. So if you were going to execute this strategy today for your facility, looking at that strategy funnel, what would you need? Well, let's move backwards. You would have to have units to rent. So do you have units to rent? If not, Maybe this isn't your marketing funnel, but let's assume you do have units to rent. Okay, can people rent them online or do they just reserve them online? If you can rent them online, but you haven't set that up, then set that up. So a landing page, you will need a landing page. I'll talk to you more about that next week. And then you'll need a Facebook ad. So to have a Facebook ad, you need two things. You need a Facebook company page, and then you need an advertising account. So between now and next week, that's your assignment. Have a company Facebook page. Now, if you already have one, then do some research so that you can have someone else, or maybe yourself, but I suggest someone else, do all the things that managers do on that company page. And then your next assignment is to create an advertising account from that company page. Follow the instructions on Facebook on how to do that, it's not complicated. Next, I'd like you to design an advertising budget. So, do you know the value of a customer in your self-storage facility? We've talked about this before. If you haven't, watch the episode that comes across the screen here. That will talk to you about how to determine the value of a customer in your self-storage facility. Why do you need to know that? Well, you need to know that so you can design an advertising budget. Your other assignment is to design an advertising budget. What should your budget be? Well, that depends. That depends on the value of a customer in your, in your facility. That depends on how much space you have to rent. Are you in lease up or are you stabilized? It also depends on what the competition in your submarket is doing. If everyone in your submarket is full and you're trying to rent 10 units, you don't have to do a first month free offer. But what if your competition has just opened up, they have 100,000 square feet to lease, and they're half your price and offering the first two months for zero? Well, you're probably going to have to do a little more than $10 off or a free lock. So design an offer, design a advertising budget for your self-storage facility, and have that advertising budget be based around the average value of a customer. If, if the average value of a customer is $2,000 for you, what would you spend to have to earn that $2,000? How much per customer would you be willing to spend? Those are the kind of questions I'd like for you to ponder, work on, and come up with answers to for next week's episode because it will make a difference in the work that we do next week. So you have that Facebook homepage advertising account, value of a customer, 
design an advertising budget and be thinking about the offers that you would offer someone to rent units in your facility. Come to the next episode with that information and we'll take this to the next level. So thank you very much. My name's Mark Helm. I'm the author of Creating Wealth Through Self Storage and I'm the creator of the Storage World Analyze. That is a financial analysis tool specifically designed for the self storage industry that we literally use every day. I'm on it every single day working with my company and other people's company and it's what we used as we look at a storage facility or look at a project that we're going to build or expand and it will inform us what the cash flows will be, what we can pay for the facility. In the old days everyone used Excel. If you're not that great with Excel or don't think you're that good with numbers, this program could really be just what you're after. When I show it to the banks and show it to my partners, the reports are great. Explore it if you're not using it. StorageWorldAnalyzer.com or CreatingWealthThroughSelfStorage.com and click the page that says Storage Analyzer. So thank you very much. I look forward to being with you next week. See you.